Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Trailmakers, and today we are doing something that you guys have been requesting for a while, and it's something we've done before, but now we can do it better. And that is the all-purpose vehicle, the vehicle that can travel through air, on land, on water, and now underwater. So we have done the all-purpose vehicle before the water update came out, so we could not go underwater, and this is the vehicle that we had made. So this vehicle goes on top of water using hover pads. It goes on land, obviously, using wheels. And it also goes in the air using the wings. So you can see here, there's no problem going on land, and then all we have to do is uh, activate our hover pads, and now we can go across the water using our jets here. We even have some yaw capabilities to help ourselves turn. Now the water physics is actually a lot different than it used to be, so it doesn't hover quite as well as it used to. And then I don't know if we can take off the land. Oh, there we go, and we are now in the air. So as you can see, this is my previous all-purpose vehicle. So now I'm hoping to add in the new controls with the um, underwater update and stuff. And we'll see if we can make this work. I'm actually debating on making it even more all-purpose than I originally intended. However, what if we use hover pads the way that we've used them before to make a wall climber? Now the question is, does that still work? So let's go ahead and spawn in the wall climber that we made previously using the hover pad glitch. If you're not familiar with what the hover pad glitch is, then um, you will be familiar soon. So basically the idea is you have hover pads going up into your vehicle. So it actually resists against your vehicle, pinning you to the ground. Now I don't, oh, and also it has the weird effect and it still has this effect apparently of uh, keeping you in the air once you're in the air and then keeping you on the ground once you're on the ground. It's kind of really counterintuitive, but let's go uh, over to a wall somewhere over here and see if we can get this thing to wall climb still. All right, I think here's a good test. We got a nice wall here, so we're just gonna go ahead and dive down into this area and see if this thing can still do it. And by the looks of it, oh, interesting. Okay, so by the looks of it, we can still pin ourselves to the wall, but it appears that these tires do not have the grip that they used to. So I'm wondering if it's just the tires or if they actually change the physics of the wall climbing hover pad thing. Okay, so now what are we making this thing do? We're gonna make it drive on land. We're gonna make it fly in the air. We're gonna make it swim underwater. We're gonna make it climb on walls. And I guess we're also gonna make it float on water. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. So I figured the last thing that we need to do is flying because that's gonna have the most to do with weight distribution and where the wing placements are gonna be. So we need to know what our vehicle is gonna look like first. So if we take care of the land stuff first and then we can make it go underwater and then make it fly and wall climb. I don't know how we're gonna do this. This is just, this is gonna be a process that's gonna require a lot of a lot of trial and error. All right, so let's start with the land vehicle. Now, I think I am gonna use just the standard wheel with average traction or... No, I think we're gonna use the standard wheel with average traction. These are they're gonna be too big and heavy. And they're also gonna get in the way a lot more when it comes to other functions like flying and going underwater. And maybe if we wanna add hovering over water, I don't really know why we'd wanna add that ability. It might be kind of weird. But hey, we're making an all-purpose vehicle anyway. Why not just make it do just, just about everything? All right, so obviously we have to use the diving bell because this is going to be partly submarine. Everything that happens from here on out, I have no idea what to expect yet. But I guess let's just start building and see where this ends up leading us. All right, welcome to the basic foundation of the car portion, the land portion. I think it looks kind of interesting. It's very kind of like insectoid, I guess. But uh, it seems to work fine. Seems to have some decent control, actually. But uh, all that's going to change as we just keep adding to this thing to introduce more and more functionality to it. So land portion is a success so far. So up next... um. Hmm, that's a good question. What is going to be up next? I guess we should... I'm thinking the sea and the air are very similar because we're basically flying through a fluid. It's just that water is a much denser fluid than air. And yes, air is a fluid. I know that you guys didn't believe me last time I said that, but trust me, 
Look it up. I'm not saying air is a liquid. Water is a liquid. Air is a gas, but both are fluids. And fluid dynamics is how we're going to be traveling through both mediums using very similar controls. Okay, so now one thing I've been really thinking about and wanting to try is actually making it a wall climber that can also hover on the ground and therefore over the water because having both of those functionalities would be cool. And I'm thinking about a transformer kind of thing in which the hover pads are going to be facing up while the wheels are out so we can be attached to the ground. Down, but when we change into hover mode instead of wall climb mode, the wheels are actually going to fold in while the hover pads fold down. And I don't know if this is actually going to work the way that I have this set up or not, but I really want to try this. Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I now have a transforming uh, land to hover vehicle. And I think it actually works pretty well so far. We're going to see how that affects things when we start adding more other functions to it. But here's our land vehicle. Uh, works pretty well. And then if I press a button here, we switch over to our hover vehicle. Oh, wait, why is one side not... Oh, that was kind of weird. I don't know why that happened. We tilted. Why do we tilt? It's like the left... What? Are we too heavy on that? Wait, hold on. Let's try turning this way. That's the first time I've seen that happen. And then we can turn back to our land vehicle. One thing I'm noticing sometimes is it seems to, even though I have it on toggle 180 degrees for those rotating servos, sometimes it seems to not perfectly give me 180 degrees of rotation. Oh, like that looks much better than it did before, doesn't it? Let's see if this actually makes it easier to turn. Okay, so now it works. Now it works perfectly fine. So I think the issue is that sometimes the rotating servos don't use their full rotation when I press the button. And if it's at just the slightest angle, it appears to really have an effect on whether or not it uh, works. Because you can see right now, like, that is not straight. If I repair, now it's straight. So there's, yeah, there just seems to be an inconsistency. Like, now you can see that that's on an angle on the left side there. So I bet now if, if we turn to the left that it's gonna it's gonna push into the ground again yep yep that's what that is okay so it seems like you have to be perfectly flat for it to be consistent and if it's not you're not gonna have consistency so i'm wondering if it's worth it to actually make it rotate a little bit more than 180 let's say 185 degrees and then it's facing away from us i don't know how that'll affect the hovering but let's give it a try Okay, so I have it on 185 degrees now, and it seems to be a little bit better at at least staying level. So let's see if we can hover a little bit better with this. Seems to be doing much better. All right, and we're going to switch back into car mode. Oh, that was a little bit weird of a glitch there. All right, this feels better. This feels better already. I think the extra five degrees really makes a difference. Even though we're not perfectly flat with each other all the time, I think it's better to be angled outwards than angled inwards. Okay, so now we have hovering and we have land. So now, since we already have the hover pads on here, next up is to make this thing have the ability to wall climb. So this is where things are going to get a little bit interesting because I have to put surfaces above these hover pads that are not going to get in the way when I do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the vehicle. I think we have something pretty cool here. However, I don't think these wheels are big enough because the amount of downforce applied by these hover pads puts the wheels into the ground to the point where we actually start grinding against the ground with our like steering hinges and stuff over there. So we might actually have to put the big wheels on this thing, which I guess it'll probably make it look a little bit better. It's just going to be a lot harder to deal with um, flying and oh actually this might not work out as well either because now the wheels might actually hit each other when they fold in oh this is going to change everything i think i don't know if this is going to be good i do not know if this is going to be good it looks better that's for sure but let's see what happens if we try to transform Ooh, Ooh. i actually like this all right now let's see if we can actually wall climb with this thing i guess we'll just try at first to just stay on the side of this ramp I mean, that seems to work fine to me. I guess let's put it to a better test and use like that wall over here. All right, here we go. Wall climb test. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, this is actually no problem. I don't even need my thrusters. This is awesome. Oh boy, oh boy. And we're having that weird effect now. Uh Oh, that's not good. 
That's not good. We're kind of stuck here. But you know what? That's okay. If we just switch to hover mode. Look at that. And now we're hovering. All right. And we are hovering on an angle, which is not good. So let's switch back into driving mode. Oh, I love this thing. This thing is awesome. Okay, so now we also need a way to switch off, I think, the hover pads. I mean, this thing gives us a lot of grip, but I think it also slows us down a bit. So let's just uh, make the hover pads controllable with a button. Okay, so this is with the hover pads on driving around. And this is with the hover pads off. Much lighter. Much lighter, that's for sure. You can visually see us, like, go down and then up. Down and then up into the gr from the ground. Okay, so now, um, what should we do next? We have wall climbing. We have hovering and we have oh boy oh boy uh yeah i figured that was happening so like i was saying we have we have uh hover we have wall climb and we have land vehicles so now all that's left is to create our submarine slash boat and our flying vehicle and that's where things are going to get a little bit more interesting. Okay, so I'm thinking that for the submarine and flying modes, they should be from this shape here, which is actually going to make it really hard because when I'm in build mode, I'm building on this shape. Oh, this is going to be tough now. I made this really hard on myself because I have to make sure that this thing can transform without messing up our flying and hovering capabilities. And the reason I think this shape is because I can turn the hover pads on and off. So if I want to go underwater, I can just turn those off and then I'm in submarine mode. And then I can go up to the surface, turn the hover pads on, and I'm basically in like hover boat mode. And then same thing for like flying through the air. So, hmm. I really got to have to put a lot of thought into how I'm going to make this work. Not to mention we're probably like really heavy too. But before we even get to that, let's see if this thing can actually go on the water. You ready for this? All right, here we go. Switch to water or hover mode. All right, we're doing good. And we have some turning as well. All right, I think we have a successful hover vehicle. Uh, so now the hard part, flying, flying and submarining. Oh, that was too early. All right, now time to actually get building this plane thing. We're gonna see what's gonna happen with this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the flying stage, I guess. I don't even know which stage it is. I was gonna say stage three, but I feel like I'm losing count now. What we have land, we have wall climbing, we have hovering, stage four, flying. So. It was really hard to figure out how to put a tail fin on this thing that doesn't get interfered with with the rotating mechanic, as well as just giving ourselves enough lift because there's so many things that move that interfering with itself was kind of hard. So we actually have our tail fins open up back here. Check this out. Look at that. So we got our tail fin back there. Um, and that actually has control over pitch as well. And then we also have these fins on the side. Oh, we're going because of my hover pads. We also have these fins on the side that help us with uh, roll. And then we have those double fins in the front are just purely for giving us some lift so we can get our nose off the ground. So let's see how this thing actually works now. So we're going to start going. We're going to switch into hover mode here. Oh, I got to actually turn my hover pads on if I want to do that. And now we're going to try to lift off into the air and it is working. It is actually working. We can pitch this, or we can roll this way, and then we can pitch back. I have to use both hands on the keyboard because uh, it wouldn't make sense to put our pitch on W and S because that's my gas, and using the land vehicle, it would interfere with our land vehicle mode. So this thing works. This thing totally works right now. And check this out, check this out. Ready for this? Now we can go down to the water. And ready? Now, no more pitch needed. We are on the water, and I think we can control ourselves on the water okay. The turning is a little bit weird now that we have all the fins on here. But uh, as you can see, we can hover on the water. And then once we go over to land, let's go ahead and switch. And now her land vehicle. Okay, so all that's left now is uh, submarine mode. 
And we have pretty much everything we need for submarine mode except for propellers. We do not have underwater propulsion right now. So hopefully, I, I actually purposely left some room right here. I'm hoping I can just add the propellers just right on these things like this. And I hope this doesn't affect my weight for flying too much. But we're just going to have two propellers. We are not aerodynamic at all. I have no room to put aerodynamic pieces that don't interfere with anything else. So I'm going to also put that on space. So now let's see. We should be able to go into submarine mode underwater. Turn our hover pads off. And I'm hoping... Oh, no. Okay, our, our hover pads work underwater. That's kind of weird. Okay, this is kind of weird. We need a lot more thrust underwater, don't we? Oh, that's not good because those propellers are huge. Propellers are very big and this is clearly not giving us any thrust at all. I don't like that. I don't like this. All right, so now I'm just a little bit worried because we have to add a lot more weight to this thing. Like, without messing up the flying mode too much. Because the flying mode was awesome. So, hopefully this doesn't interfere with the ground. If I just put these under there like that. Alright, let's see how this works in the water. Alright, let's go ahead and turn our hover pads off. We're going to go into submarine mode and flying mode and all the modes pretty much. And now, let us try to go underwater. Okay, that's weird. That is not how that should work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do the wheels... You know what? Okay, we can do that. We can just turn. The roll does not work the way that it should. I think the wheels being connected with the roll like that are interfering with us, actually. You know what? I might have to change our controls to arrow keys for both pitch and roll. Because when I try to roll left, it turns me to the right. And I think that's because of the wheels. But I feel like we have enough now. Well, let's turn into car mode and let's drive across the ground. Okay, we could drive across the ground, but can we go up? Oh, we cannot go up. Okay, submarine mode is lacking right now. Submarine's mode is lacking, and I'm not exactly sure what we can do about this quite yet. All right, so submarine mode is a fail for now, but let's make sure that with these extra weights of the propellers that we can actually still get up in the air. All right, I'm actually going to go off this jump and see if we can transform midair. Transform. Oh, that was good. That was good, and it appears that we still have enough still have enough speed and aerodynamics to actually function in the air. So that's a good sign so far. Alright, now let's see if we can do a smooth landing on the ground. Alright, here we go. Oh. Oh, that I my pitch was reversed when I go onto the ground like that. Alright, and now let's see if we can still climb walls. Going up. Going up. Okay, this seems to still work. We need a little bit more help from our thrusters since we're so much heavier now. But, oh, we're... Oh, no. Those propellers that we added to the bottom are bottoming us out. Okay, we're going to have to make some adjustments here. We're going to have to make some adjustments. Okay, so I've added some adjustments. And, man, there's a lot of interference going on. But it's working much better. So what I've done is I've added four more propellers. I've taken the ones out from the... Oh, I, I missed that one. I missed one. Hold on. So anyway, here's a better view. So I've added them to the outside here. So they still technically kind of fit right there. And they're facing the opposite direction in this mode. But as you'll see, when we go into underwater mode... Let's turn our hover pads off. Then they face the right direction. And this gives us a lot more speed. Well, you can see that there is some interference going on. And then is also when I go into this mode, uh, it makes it not go all the way flat. So I don't know how that's going to interfere with our wall climbing. But this thing is proving a lot more difficult to kind of make between all the different modes than I expected. But let's try to check now. Let's see if we can do everything. Okay, so we start off with driving on the ground. That's the easy mode. Whoa! Um, so let's go over onto the wall, see if we can have any more success with the wall climber mode now. All right, here we go. We're going good so far. Just get over this ridge here. All right, having good having good success with the wall climber mode. Okay, so now let's go into hmm, let's go into flight mode or hover mode. 
know what? Let's do... Let's do hover. No, let's do flight mode. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna go off the edge. Whoop. Oh, we're going into unintentional flight mode. We have to turn our hover pads off. We're gonna go off this edge, transform mid-air into flight mode. Here we go. Off the edge, transforming. All right. We're in flight mode. It looks like we still have everything working. Now, we're gonna go into hovering on water mode. I'm turning my hover pads on. All right, let's see if we can hover on the water. Come on. There we go. All right, now we are hovering on the water. Now I'm gonna turn my hover pads off. And we go into submarine mode. Now the submarine mode is clearly the most lacking right now, but all I want out of submarine mode is to be able to surface again and get out of the water. Come on, get out of the water. Oh, we are so close. I can't. I have my hover pads on, too, so we can try to, like, get onto the surface. Come on. Man, our, our thruster just cannot stay out of the water for long enough. All right. It appears that we need just a little bit more underwater boost. All right. We're going to see what happens if we put these thrusters under the wheels like this. And what I'm thinking is that this is going to allow the front of us to get out of the water and get some thrust a little bit quicker. And I'm also going to replace these thrusters used to be back here. Oh, that's not gonna work actually. I might have to actually keep these thrusters back here. I wanted to replace them with propellers, but the propellers won't be able to actually keep these connected. Here, let's find out. Oh wait, here we go. Here we go, this might work. This might work. We're coming up with some solutions here. Man, we're adding a lot of weight to this thing. All right, so now I just hope that these thrusters don't interfere with our transforming and that this weight doesn't interfere with our flying. It also help if these propellers are facing the right way. All right, let's see how this looks. All right, we're going underwater. We're transforming. Is it? Oh, that doesn't work, does it? That really doesn't work that much. All right, well, let's see about those front thrusters. Will those front thrusters carry us out of the water? Come on. Oh, maybe the front thrusters is all we needed. We can get rid of these things in the back here. All right, that may have been all that we needed. Now we might have all functions working in connection with each other, being able to actually transition smoothly. So now we are a submarine and we're going to go to a hovercraft on the water. We're just going to get those front jets out of the water. They'll pull us onto the surface. Yes. Yes. And now can we actually go up into the air from the water? Oh, yes. The hover pads are now off. We are officially flying. Oh, but we are a lot more front heavy now. Unfortunately, we are a lot more front heavy, so it's a little bit harder to control. All right, now let's go into car mode. Oh, a little bit late on the transformation there, but it worked. Car mode. And now let's go into... Oops. Here, let's repair. Go into wall climber mode. Oh, we can't get up onto the wall. Oh, that's an in that's a that's a uh, negative incline there. All right, let's go onto our trusty wall here. All right, all right, that's still working. I'm just wondering if these thrusters are gonna interfere with our ability to climb up, but it doesn't look like it. Whoops. All right, wall climber mode still works. The transition to hover mode still seems pretty good. We can use our propeller or our helicopter engine to like turn when we're in hover mode using Q and E. All right, let's see if we can actually go off of here and fly. There we go. And coming down for a... Uh, whoop, a hover landing. Uh, oh, that's bad. <laughs> I think we actually have something that does work, though. What is this? Five different modes? Okay, let's just see if we can do a smooth transition between everything in one go. So we got car mode, number one. Number two, we've got wall climber mode. And I'm actually going to turn around for this one. We're going to go back down to the ground. Yeah, we got wall climber mode as number two. Number three, we have hover mode. And hover mode totally works pretty well. All right, and I'm going to extend hover mode. I'm going to say that this is still number three, hovering over water. But it's like a 3.5, hovering over water. We have number four, which is flying. 
and flying works. It definitely works. We have pretty much full control. And then we have number four, or no, number five. This was number four, flying, is submarine mode. And submarine mode, although the least effective, still seems to have some working capabilities. And all we have to do in submarine mode is just make sure that, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go, we have number six. Number six, underwater car mode. Oh no, that doesn't work. Never mind, that doesn't work because some of, <laughs> we don't have underwater car mode, I'm sorry. Because uh, some of our propellers during the transformation process, they turn backwards. All right, can we, can we get up please? There we go. If we turn our hover pads on, it actually helps us stay off the ground. Oh, that's really, we have under underwater hovercraft. No joke, no joke. And then we can go right back onto the surface. There we go, we're in hover mode now. All right, and then back into car mode. I think we've made probably one of the best creations I've made in Trailmakers. I wish it was better at all of its individual functions, but you know what? I think all things considered, it's pretty good. It looks nice, it transforms, and it covers all of the mediums of travel. So let me know what your favorite part, what is your favorite uh, part about this vehicle out of all the five stages? Which stage is your favorite? And uh, let me know what you guys want to see in future Trailmaker episodes, because this came from you guys in the comments too. A lot of you were asking for an all-purpose vehicle or a multi-stage vehicle kind of like this, and this is what you guys got. So looking forward to seeing those comments. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, now it's a floating vehicle.